Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. I was asked by a friend to make her a lady applique using the mermaid head and a formal dress. I've since added some ballerina heads to the dress as well. In this video, I'll just be showing you how to work the dress, the arms, the neck and the shoes and I'll have links to the ballerina and mermaid for you to do the head and I'll tell you which colours I used for those. The large lady using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook is 15.5 centimetres wide by 30 centimetres or 6 inches wide by 11 and 3 quarter inches. The medium lady crochet using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5 millimetre hook is 10.5 centimetres wide by 21 centimetres or 4 inches wide by 8.25 inches. The small ladies crochet using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1 millimetre hook are 7 centimetres wide by 16.5 centimetres or 2 and 3 quarter inches wide by 6.5 inches. I'll be using Katona cotton, so the size will be a bit smaller than the large lady. I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. Now for the one with the ballerina head, I'll be making the dress and arms, neck and shoes on camera for this one. Now I'm using Katona cotton. I've got 115 hot red, 130 old lace. 106 Snow White, 162 Black Coffee. I've got scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends, a 2.5mm crochet hook. I've got sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together and the black and white are to embroider on the eyes. I've got small red beads for the necklace. Now I'll be using the 162, the black coffee, to make the four pieces of hair and the 130 to do the head and I've got a bow using the 115, the hot red. I won't be working the, the lady with the mermaid's head on camera but I'll make her up on camera. Now I have 510 Sky Blue, 105 Bridal White, 106 Snow White and 404 English Tea. I've got my scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends, a 2.5mm crochet hook. I've got sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together. The pink is to embroider on the mouth and the white and black to embroider on the eyes. I've got small blue beads for the necklace and larger white beads for the centre of the flower. I used the 105 for the face and also the arms and neck. I used 404 the English tea for the hair and I use the 510, the sky blue, for the flower and the dress and the 106, the snow white, for the shoes. Now I start on the dress, I start at the waist and work up the bodice and then I'll do the second side and then we work the skirt and then an evening row. I've got my 115, the hot red and we start with 8 chain. For row 1 we miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain. We'll have 7 stitches. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet we put the hook into the stitch a second from the hook and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through both loops. So 
one single crochet in each chain to the end. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and then we'll work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end, we'll have 8 stitches. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and then 1 single crochet in each remaining stitch, we'll have 9 stitches. For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and then 1 single crochet in each stitch to the end, we'll have 10 stitches. For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and then 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end, we'll have 11 stitches. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and 1 single crochet in each stitch to the end, we'll have 12 stitches. For row 7 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and then 1 single crochet in each stitch to the end, we'll have 13 stitches.
Now we're starting on the first side. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. There's three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then work one single crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the following three stitches. So put your hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop and then hook into the one after and bring up a loop. There's four loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then we're going to work two single crochet and one half double crochet into the last stitch. So two single crochet and one half double crochet. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. We put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. There's three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 13 we start with two chain and turn. We're going to work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. So put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then work one single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch. And fasten off. And that's the first side of the bodice done. Now for the second side of the bodice we join the 115, the hot red, into this stitch here. It's the last stitch of row 7. And start with one chain. We work a joined single crochet over the same stitch as the join and the next stitch. Then one single crochet into the following stitch and a joined single crochet over the next three stitches. So put your hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop and then hook into the one after and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take your hook with the yarn at the end through the four loops. For row 2 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn. We work 
two single crochet into the first stitch and a join single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn. We work a join single crochet over the first two stitches. and then work two single crochet and one half double crochet into the last stitch. So two single crochet and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row five we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 6 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. Put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops, then work one single crochet into the next stitch and, and two single crochet into the last stitch and then fasten off And that's the bodice part done. I'm not going to weave in the ends because it depends what side you start your skirt on as to which is going to be the front and back. So once I've finished the dress I'll weave in all the ends. Now for the skirt I'll just join in the first stitch in here. And we start with one chain, we work two single crochet in the first stitch. We're working into the back of the chains. So two single crochet into the first stitch. Then we'll work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have nine stitches. So after the two single crochet work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. And work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row two we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then we'll work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 11 stitches. So after the first stitch work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. And work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 3 we're going to start with 2 chain. We'll work 2 half double crochet into the first stitch. Then we work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. 
will work two half double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 13 stitches. So after the first stitch work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For bow four, we start with two chain and turn. We work two half double crochet into the first stitch. Then we'll work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two half double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 15 stitches. So after the two half double crochet work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two half double crochet into our last stitch. Now we're going to start on this pattern on the dress. For bow five we're going to turn our work and we're going to work three double crochet in the second stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch so we miss the first stitch and work into the second stitch. So we go into the second stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. We work two more double crochet into that same stitch. Then we're going to miss a stitch and work one single crochet into the following stitch. Then miss a stitch and work three double crochet into that next stitch. So we miss one stitch and work three double crochet into the stitch and we missed another stitch and worked a single crochet. We missed another stitch and work three double crochet. Now miss one more stitch and work a single crochet into the next stitch and then miss the following stitch and work three double crochet into the following stitch. Miss one stitch and work a single crochet into the next stitch. Miss a stitch and work three double crochet into the next stitch. And work a single crochet into the last stitch. So we've got three, across it we've got four lots of three double crochet with single crochets between. For row six we start with three chain. Now we're going to work two double crochet in our last single crochet, so that first stitch there. 
so two double crochet into the first stitch. Now we're going to work a single crochet in the top of our middle double crochet, so the top of our shell part there. And then we work three double crochet into the top of the single crochet, so just in the bottom there. So three double crochet. Then a single crochet in the middle of the double crochet, so the top of the shell part, and then three double crochet into our single crochet at the bottom there. A single crochet into the middle double crochet from the shell part and then three double crochet in the top of the single crochet at the bottom. A single crochet in the middle of our shell part and then into the top of the chain, the three chain, work three double crochet. Now that's the two rows of pattern but we will continue getting more double crochets into each of these shell parts as we go. For row 7 we turn our work and we're going to work five double crochet into the first single crochet. So this is our first single crochet there. So five double crochet into our single crochet. and then work a single crochet in the top of the middle double crochet on the shell and then five double crochet into the top of the single crochet from the row before And then a single crochet into the middle, double crochet in the shell part and then five double crochet in the top of the single crochet from the row before. A single crochet into the middle double crochet and then five double crochet in the single crochet. and then work a single crochet in the top of the three chain. Now for row eight we start with three chain and turn and work two double crochet in the top of that single crochet at the end of the row. and then work a single crochet in the middle double crochet on that shell and then we work five double crochet into the single crochet Work 
work a single crochet in the middle double crochet from that shell and then work five double crochet in the top of the single crochet. And then a single crochet in the top of the middle double crochet of that shell and then five double crochet in the top of the single crochet. A single crochet in the top of the middle double crochet and then three double crochet in the last stitch. Now for row nine we turn our work and we work seven double crochet in the top of the first single crochet. So just in there, seven double crochet. Then one single crochet in the top of the middle double crochet and then seven double crochet in the top of the single crochet. and then a single crochet in the middle of the double crochet and then seven double crochet in the top of the single crochet. A single crochet in the top middle of the double crochet and then seven double crochet in the top of the single crochet. and then one single crochet in the top of the three chain at the end there. And that's what the dress looks like. If you wanted a shorter dress you could finish at any time but it's best to finish on one of these rows where your shells meet the corner. For row 10 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work 2 double crochet in that first stitch there. And then a single crochet in the middle 
top of the double crochet and then we work seven double crochet into the single crochet. A single crochet in the middle top of the double crochet and then seven double crochet in the top of the single crochet. A single crochet in the top middle of the double crochet and then seven double crochet into the single crochet. A single crochet in the middle double crochet of that shell and then three double crochet in our last single crochet. Now for row 11 we'll be now working 9 double crochet instead of the 7. So we turn our work and work 9 double crochet into our first single crochet. Then work one single crochet in the middle of the shell, the middle double crochet. And we'll continue like that. We'll work nine double crochet into the next single crochet and then a single crochet in the top middle of the shell. So I'll work across until I've got my nine double crochet into this last single crochet there off camera and I'll be back. Now I've got my last lot of nine double crochet. I work a single crochet in the top of the three chain at the end there. For row 12 we start with three chain and turn. We work Two double crochet in the first single crochet there and then work a single crochet in the middle of the shell and then we work nine double crochet into the next single crochet. And then a single crochet into 
the top middle of the shell below and then we'll work nine double crochet into the next single crochet, a single crochet into the middle top of the shell and then nine double crochet into the next single crochet. So I'll work to there off camera. Now I've just worked my last nine double crochet in the single crochet. I work a single crochet in the top middle of that last shell and then work three double crochet into the last stitch. For row 13 we turn our work and we're now going to work 11 double crochet into the single crochets. So we work 11 double crochet in the first single crochet. and then work a single crochet into the middle top of the shell and we'll be working 11 double crochet into each of the single crochet and a single crochet in the top of our shells. So I'll work until I've got my 11 double crochet into this last single crochet off camera and I'll be back and then we work a single crochet in the top of the three chain now we've still got four more rows to go so if you'd like you could end it off there for row 14 we start with three chain and turn and work two double crochet in our first stitch. And then work a single crochet in the top middle of the shell. And then we work 11 double crochet into our first single crochet and we just continue along that 11 double crochet into our single crochet and a single crochet in the top of the shell cluster so I'll work until I've got my 11 double crochet in this last single crochet and I'll be back once I've got to there now I've got my last shell done. I work one single crochet in the middle of the shell and then three double crochet into the last stitch. Now we've got three rows to go. We're still going to be working 11 stitches but we're going to change to a treble rather than a double crochet. So we turn our work and we're going to work 11 treble into our single crochet. A treble is a double treble using UK terms. For a treble we put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook Take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops and yarn around the hook and hook with the yarn 
through two loops. Now we need 10 more treble into that first stitch. And then we work one single crochet in the middle of that last shell there. And then we're going to work 11 treble into the single crochets and one single crochet into the middle of each shell. So I'll work off camera until I've got my 11 treble into this last single crochet. Now I've finished my last 11 treble and I work one single crochet in the top of the 3 chain. For row 16 we start with 4 chain and we work 2 treble in the first stitch. and then a single crochet in the top middle of the first shell and then we'll work 11 treble in each of the single crochet and a single crochet in the top middle of each shell so I'll work off camera until I get to the single crochet on the last shell. Now I've got all my shells worked. I work a single crochet in the middle of the last shell from the row before and then work three treble into the last stitch from the row before. For row 17, our last row, we turn and we work 11 treble into each of our single crochet at the four of them and a single crochet in the middle top of each shell. So I'll work to the last lot of 11 treble in there and then I'll be back and we'll finish the row off and start on the neatening row. Now that's the last shell done. We can either work a single crochet or slip stitch in the top of the four chain there. I'll just slip stitch I just think it looks a bit better for the join. It makes it look more like that one. Now for the neatening row I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch as well and then work one single crochet in each stitch up to the stitch before the waist. So just find a suitable place not too far from the edge to put your hook and work your single crochets evenly up. Now 
Now I'll work the rest to nearly the waist of camera and I'll be back. I'm almost to the waist. We're going to work slip stitches around the bodice but we need to have the right amount to fit the arms in between the shoulder and the armpit. So we're going to work one slip stitch in each stitch up to this point here. For a slip stitch we just put our hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. Now work a slip stitch into that point there, work one chain quite tightly and then work another slip stitch into that same stitch. Now we need to have seven slip stitches between here and our shoulder. I've got my seven then work one chain quite tightly and work one slip stitch in each stitch across the top there. And then work a chain quite tightly and a slip stitch into the same stitch and then slip stitch around the neck. And slip stitch into the corner there, work one chain quite tightly and then slip stitch across the top. And then slip stitch into the next corner, work one chain quite tightly and slip stitch into that same stitch. And we need seven slip stitches down to the point. Then work one chain and slip stitch into that same stitch. And then slip stitch down to the stitch after the waist. Now 
Now work one single crochet in each stitch down the side and pop it to this stitch here and then slip stitch into the last stitch before our last shell there and then we'll slip stitch into there and fasten off. So I'll work my single crochet down the side off camera and I'll be back. Now I'm just going to slip stitch in the last stitch before the shells and then slip stitch into the first shell and fasten off. And that's the dress done. I'll weave in the ends. This is the right side, so I'll weave in the ends on the back. And then I'll be back with my 130, the old lace. And I'll work the neck and the shoulders. Next we'll work the chest, shoulders and neck. I've got my 130. And we find the two stitches at the bottom of the bodice part and we join in the back loop only two stitches up from those two bottom ones. So just in here in the back loop only. Now we'll be working into the back loop only for this row. We work one single crochet into the first stitch one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches and one single crochet into the following stitch and then one slip stitch into the back loop only of each of the next two stitches up the side and then turn our work. For row 2 we'll be working one single crochet into each of the four stitches And then we're going to slip stitch into the next two stitches up the side. I like to turn mine for this one first and it's a bit tricky. Just slip stitch. So I'm just going to bring a loop through that first stitch. and then slip stitch into the next stitch in the back loop only For row 3 we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and two single crochet into the last stitch and then slip stitch into the back loop only of each of the next two stitches up the side and then turn our work for row 4 we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, 1 single crochet into each of the next 4 stitches and 2 single crochet into the last stitch. And then we're going to slip stitch into the side again. I'll pull out my loop 
and just bring it, put it on and bring a loop through again and then slip stitch into the next stitch up the side. For row 5 we work one single crochet into each of the first 7 stitches and two single crochet into the last stitch and then slip stitch into the side I just slip stitched, missed one stitch and slip stitched into the next stitch and then fasten off and that's the chest and shoulders done. Now for the neck I'm going to join in the third stitch in both loops. We'll be working across the next four stitches so it will be kind of in the middle and we start with two chain We work one half double crochet in the same stitch as our join, a single crochet into the next stitch and a joined half double crochet over the following two stitches. We put the yarn around the hook hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 3 stitches For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each stitch For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 3 stitches. And for row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each stitch. And we fasten off. For our neatening row we just join just above our work. If you haven't got room just join in the same stitch. And we're just going to work one slip stitch in each stitch around our work. At the top corners I'll probably work a slip stitch in the stitch on the side then one chain and slip stitch in the same stitch at the top. But it won't really matter because the, the head is stitched on the side.
and then just slip stitch in the side of the bodice there and fasten off. Now I'll just weave in these ends and I'll be back and we'll work the right arm. Now for the right arm I've got my 130 again, the old lace, and we're going to be working into those seven stitches we left on the armhole in the back loop only. So we'll join in the first stitch, the shoulder. Now I'm leaving a long tail to use for my neatening row. Now we just need to go around the arm, but it will depend what weight yarn you're using as to how much you will need. I'd rather leave too much than too little. So we leave that on the first, on that side. You could work over it for one stitch if you'd like, just to secure it. Now we start with two chain. We're working into the back loop only of these stitches. We work one half double crochet in the same stitch as the join and then one half double crochet into the next stitch. Then we work a joined half double crochet over the following two stitches. Then one double crochet into the next stitch that's a treble using UK turns. And then a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. So we put our hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop. There's three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. For row two we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch and a joined single crochet over the next two stitches. We work one half double crochet into the following stitch and one double crochet into the last stitch. That's a treble using UK terms. For row 3 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work 1 half double crochet into each of the first 2 stitches. And 1 single crochet into each of the next 2 stitches. For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 1 single crochet into each of the first 2 stitches and 1 half double crochet into each of the last 2 stitches. For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the four stitches. For row six we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 7 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches and a joined single crochet over the last 2 stitches. For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 2 stitches. For row 9 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 1 single crochet into the first stitch and 1 half double crochet 
in the last stitch. For bow 10 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 13 we start with one chain and turn we work one single crochet in the first stitch and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 14 we start with one chain and turn we work one single crochet and one half double crochet in the first stitch so one single crochet and one half double crochet into our last stitch we work one half double crochet and one single crochet and we fasten off and that's the right arm done now for the neatening row we just bring a loop up and we work one slip stitch in each stitch around our arm not pulling too tight so to keep our arm in, in the right shape. So I'll work my neatening row off camera, I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll work the left arm. Now for this left arm I've got my 130 again and I'm going to leave a long tail for the neatening row again. We join in the bottom of the seven stitches for the armhole in the back loop only and we start with one chain. We work a joined single crochet over the same stitch as the join and the next stitch. Then one double crochet into the following stitch. That's a treble using UK terms. Then a joined half double crochet over the following two stitches. And then one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. For row 2 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work 1 double crochet into the first stitch, 1 half double crochet into the next stitch, a joined single crochet over the following 2 stitches and 1 single crochet into the last stitch. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 1 single crochet in each of the first 2 stitches. And 1 half double crochet into each of the last 2 stitches. For row 4 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work one half double crochet into each of the first two stitches and one single crochet into each of the last two stitches. For row five we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the four stitches. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn 
and work one single crochet in each stitch. For bow 7 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. For row 9 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work one half double crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. For row 13 we start with two chain and turn we work one half double crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row 14 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet and one half double crochet into the first stitch. and one half double crochet and one single crochet into the last stitch. And we fasten off. And for the neatening row, we just bring up a loop and work one slip stitch in each stitch around to the shoulder. So I'll work that off camera. Now for the shoes, if you wanted little shoes peeking out, I'll be using my 106 of Snow White and we start with four chain. We work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook, one double crochet into the next chain, that's a treble using UK terms, and one single crochet into the last chain, just to give it the little bit of a bend. And then for row two we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches. And for row 3 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For the neatening row we start with one chain quite tightly and then just work a slip stitch in each stitch around or you could just go to the start of row 3 if you want rather than go across the end. It doesn't really matter. It will be hiding behind the dress. And then we fasten off. And that's the first shoe done. The second shoes work the same. 
we start with four chain. We work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook, one double crochet into the next chain, and one single crochet into the last chain. For row two, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches. And for row three, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. And the neatening rowers work the same. We work one chain quite tightly and work one slip stitch in each stitch around or to the beginning of row three. So I'll work the rest of this off camera. I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's the pieces. I've got the two dresses and two shoes for each. I've got a head for each. For the ballerina head I've got the four hair pieces and a bow. And for the mermaid head, I've got two hair pieces and a flower. Now, the first things I'll do is attach the hair, two hair pieces for the ballerina, just in like that, and I'll embroider on the facial features. And for the mermaid, I'll embroider on the eyes and the mouth because her head needs to go onto her neck before we add the hair. So I'll embroider on the facial features and add the two hair pieces for the ballerina. The next thing I'll do is attach the head to the neck for the one with the mermaid's head. So it will go in about there and for the one with the ballerina's head I'll attach the bow just in under the hair there and then attach the ponytail and the other part of the hair. Just in like that. Now the next things to do is attach the head to the lady with the red dress and attach this hair in behind the lady with the blue dress. So a tiny bit of the head is above the hair and an even amount around. Next, I add this hair just in there and I'll add the shoes just fairly close together between those two big shells in the middle. Just in there. The last things I'll do is attach the flower just to the side of the head there with a bead and I'll string some tiny beads on some thread and I'll attach them just at the side of the neck there and then to the other side on both of them and then I'll be back to show you the finished ladies. There's the finished lady applique. The size is 15 centimeters wide by 25 centimeters or 6 inches wide by 9 and 3 quarter inches. If you've liked my video please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter the details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, 
the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.